hello again. Uh, we meet again in the second video. I'm going to share with you the second structures uh, in constructing sentences using the easy, easy, easy English structures. Easy sentence structures in English. Um, okay, our sentence structure today is based on the uh, sentence in Bahasa Melayu which use the words adalah. So in the previous video we use ialah uh, as the verb of the sentence. So in this video well, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share with you how are we going to use adalah in a sentence. Okay, uh, in Bahasa Melayu uh, we use adalah. For example, uh, the sentence like saya adalah seorang yang baik. So in that in this sentence we put the word adalah. So uh, if you see in this sentence is a little bit different from the uh, the sentence in the previous video for ayat ialah. So what is the different between the two sentences? Okay, in this in the previous sentence we do not use the adjective. Uh, in this one we use adjective as the complement uh, as as the complement of the sentence as the complement of the sentence. So you can see uh, saya is the saya as the subject of the sentence. So adalah here is the verbs we put it at the verb uh, uh, at the as a verb. So we get to replace it with uh, the verb to be same as the uh, ayat ialah for the ayat ialah uh, but in, for the complement you see uh, in the in ayat ialah we use seorang guru okay, this time we put seorang yang baik or oh, seorang guru yang baik so we have the adjective there baik so that's the difference between ialah and adalah so in ayat ialah for the complement we use only the noun phrase prasana as a complement of the sentence but for ayat adalah we're going to use adjective phrase or prasa adjective 